So next is we have mathematical function. So the average function, so what we're passing in here is just a, uh, a number, like a, a series of numbers. Okay, so it could be a list, it could be individual numbers, but there's no limit on how many numbers you could pass into this uh, formula. So what we have here is 159. 159 actually, if you average it out, as a total of 15 divided by 3, so that gives you 5, an average of 5. So what you see here is A2 until C2. So what it's saying is it we're, we're actually passing a range of characters over here. So uh, you, you, it's just a shorthand way of saying that you, you don't need to place in single cell values. You're just saying that give me everything that's in between A2 and C2 and then average it, at, uh, it out. So uh, just to try it out, so that's average. And then pick this one. Uh, what I'm doing right now is holding the shift key and then I'm selecting these two values over here. And that gives you five. Um, just to show you a different way, so I'm trying out average again. And then let's click it, uh, each of the cells one by one. So that's this one, and this one, and this one. And it will give you the same result, okay? So uh, A3, B3, C3, that's individual cells as compared to this one, this is a range of cells, okay? So that's average. Next is int. Int is more of uh, getting just the a whole number portion of a, like a uh, decimal, okay? So what, what you have over here is uh, 123.99. When you pass it to int, it just truncates the, uh, like the decimal portion and you're left with 123, okay? So if we put this in, so do take note, there's no rounding off or anything. It simply just cuts the decimal portion off. So the 0.99 is just removed and you get one, two, three. So next is mod. So what mod does is it divides a number, okay? And then it gets, it gives you the remainder after dividing this number. So for example, uh, if we have 10, then divided by three, so 10 divided by 3 would give you 3, remainder 1. So what mod does is it gives you the remainder. So that's 1. So for example, if we had mod, you just give it the number first, followed by divisor. So we're saying 10 divided by 3. Give me the remainder if you divide 10 by 3. So that's 1. Okay. Rand. Rand is the short uh, short term for random. So what it does, it, it simply gives you a random number to play with. So that number is, uh, actually the ran random number is less than one. So I just pass in the function or the formula rand and it just gives me a random number actually if I type in over here, rand. Okay, so we're not passing, it, passing anything. So it just gives you uh, just a random number. And the, the curious thing about this one is uh, once you type in, it actually affects the other rand functions as well. So they're, they're all randomized. Next is round. So round is more of rounding off a specific number. And uh, you pick how many digits after the decimal. So for example, over here, 9.675, let's say I want to round it off the uh, like two places. So if you round it off in two places, it will give you 9.68. So it rounds rounds up. So if you look over here, that's round A2, and then followed by the number of places. So I want it to be two places, or two digits after the decimal. So just to try it out, round, and then I want it to be two digits. Okay, so that gives me 9.78. So if I try it out right now as round again, Let's say one digit, so it should give me 9.7, okay? Sum. So for sum, it, it, you just need to give a list of values. So it could be multiple, it could be a range of values. It's actually similar with the average function that we showed a while ago. So we have the numbers 1, 5, and 9. If you add them all up, it gives you 15. So if you look at the function over here, um, I'm actually selecting a range of values, which is A2 until C2. So we just add them all up. 
So if you type it in, sum, uh, notice that I'm holding the shift button again. So, okay, and then close it out. So it gives you 15.